Afro Kids Show, seen by millions around the country, coming up around town. You're watching WGN Morning News at 7. Thank you, Erin. Time for Around Town. Anna's at a unique school assembly. Hey, Anna. Magic tricks, singing, dancing, talking about life, being like an iPod. This is Tim Hannig, and the show is called The Pro Kids. And he's out here in New Lenox trying to teach all these wonderful kids about self-esteem and respect. With all this music and laughing, not the assembly I used to know. We'll show you more of The Pro Kids show coming up. Thanks, Anna. And Anna's around town at a school assembly that may be a little more fun than the ones we went to. Clapping to teach him cooperation. That's the Pro Kids show kind of way. We're in New Lenox, and when we come back, we'll show you why all these kids and kids all over the nation laugh and clap and learn about respect around town this morning with the Pro Kids show. Woo! Now the daughters are the first ones that are going to zap with their ray gun, Robin. I show a little more respect. Hey, Anna. <laughs> We're spending our morning at the Nelson Perry School in New Lenox with Tim Hannig and his show, The Pro Kids Show. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. This is not the assembly that I'm used to, to have uh, someone talk to me about self-respect and anti-bullying. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a very positive show. It's Pro Kids. Pro stands for people respecting others. And uh, this is what I do every day. This is my office. I get a few hundred kids that are usually excited to be out of class. Mm -hmm. And we do a whole show with magic and music and comedy. But the idea is to support what the school is doing. Like the school we're at today is doing character counts. Some schools do PBIS or an anti-bullying program. I find out what the school is doing and I try to tailor my show to tie in with what they're doing. And then often I come back for the evening for a family night show and incorporate the parents as well. And you incorporate the teachers. We saw you messing around with some teachers. Yes, and uh, that's always a good time. Mm -hmm. So they don't always raise their hands as quick as the kids, though. But you have the kids that volunteer them. How did you end up at the White House? Uh, I was performing at an entertainer's convention, and a guy was there that helped uh, book the entertainment. And so I, I was invited in 2003 and did a few shows for the Easter egg roll. And then they invited me back the next year. It's always good to be invited back. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a, an amazing mix of entertainment and a great message. When we come back, how does the iPod get into the mix of this whole show? We'll be right back with more. The Pro Kids Show coming up. Stay with us. Top stories coming up next. Time now for Ron Town. Anna's learning about a unique school program. Hey, Anna. We've seen him do magic. We've seen him draw. Now he's brought burn. Let's listen in. Stop that. Why do you call them Earthlings? I am Avatar. Stop that. Where's your 3D glasses? Stop it, Vern. This is not a movie. Pass the popcorn. Vern. This is not a theater. I got it on Redbox. All right, that's enough. Vern, we're doing the pro we'll show you show more here. about what he's doing to build pro. kids' self-esteem and prevent something. bullying. I guess that means I'm from New Orleans, around town. Stay with us on this around town at a school assembly that may be a little more fun than the ones you're used to. <laughs> Anna's in an elementary school in New Lenox. Say, hey, Anna. All about being nice to each other. All about self-respect. All together with magic. What this, that's what Tim Hannock has been doing all over the country with his pro kids show. Check that out when we come back around town. Why he is so popular and entertaining. Back to you. Day 43, time now for Around Town. Anna's learning about a unique school program. Hey, Anna. We've danced, we've jumped around, we've clapped. We are programming an iPod. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. This is the Pro Kids Show. How would you describe this show? I would describe this show as kind of like a roller coaster ride. You know, if you start talking a lot, kids are going to tune out. So every three to four minutes, the show is changing. They never know whether it's going to be a magic trick coming next or a comedy routine or kids on stage or a teacher on stage, a story. It's kind of a multi-mix of, um, like I said, a roller coaster ride. You make it very relatable. You talk about Facebook, you even talk about programming an iPod. What's in your iPod? 
Do the iPod people know this? <laughs> <laughs> I did tell them at the Apple store and showed them my shirt, and they thought it was pretty cool. I think I've probably helped them sell a few iPods over the years. So every year my theme changes, but this year it's all about the iPod because kids relate to that, and I'm always looking for things that kids relate to that they understand. If someone was to bring you to their school or either after-school program, how does it work? Well, basically, we find out um, what kind of uh, character building or program they're doing, and it, we can tie into that, but it's a 45-minute assembly, mm -hmm. and like at this school today, I'm doing two of those, identical, and then I come back at night for an hour-long show that's completely different, so the kids go home, ask their parents to come back. So. Bless your heart for the stamina. You're yes. unbelievable. Tim Hannig, thank you so much. If you need more information about the Pro Kids Show, you can text us, and these guys from Nelson Prairie have been so good that I need you to clap and go loud now! <laughs> I had to let them do that. Back to you. Thanks, Anna. Great weather here in Chicagoland. We're going to see sunny skies.